So you want to, <clears throat> one of these is a duster, dusting off the keyboard. It's aerosol methane or something. You know, if you take this, you can um, stick this in a <clears throat> liter bottle full of uh, water, blow it into there, and then shake it up, and it'll turn it to ice. It's real cold when it comes out. Shake it up, and it gets cold. Well, maybe it's not. Not to find one. Anyway, this is an interesting experiment to do because it demonstrates hydrogen bonding in water. How water form ice? And it's not normal ice when it turns to ice. It doesn't melt. Create clathrates, hydrogen bonded water molecules, or what they call electric ice. So, guy, I think his name was Lowe that discovered that. God, God damn the pusher man. Wow, wow. I'll have to get the next next video, I'll get the other one. My left hand doesn't work as well. My left hand's paralyzed, my left arm is pretty much gone. I mean, I can still get it up. I, I mean, I can still raise my arm. Anyway, my name's John Bennett. And I want to be the fixer man for homeopathy on TED Talks. I want to do the fix on homeopathy for TED. Now, you notice those TED Talks are about, oh, by the way, let me first preface this with saying that Randy, James the Amazing Randy, the amazing honest liar, James Randy, he had a, he had a, uh, a uh, documentary done about him and they called it The Honest Liar. James Randi, and I've experienced James Randi ad infinitum. And I can say that this is truthfully a, a good title for him. Honest Liar. This is my co-host, Hudson. Say hi to everyone, Hudson. Yam, 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 yam. <laughs> He's a good dog. I saved him from a kill shelter. They were going to kill him. Actually, I didn't save him. My... My uh, stepdaughter picked him up as a birthday present for my wife, and they uh, they said, uh, "Well, I said no way. We're not going to have another dog. I've had dogs before, and the problem is that I have to pick up after him. I have to walk him. I have to feed him. You know, they're real. They could be a real pain in the ass. And the worst part is." But I fall in love with them, and I love the dog, and then it really becomes a problem. Kind of like with human beings, although the human beings can take care of themselves. They can say, get out of here, and they can go take care of themselves. You can't do that to a dog, can you? can't do that to a dog. Come here. I want you to hop up here and say hi to everybody. <laughs> no, just kidding. But I'm not kidding about TED Talks. Oh, shit. This is an incoming call. 963258. What kind of a number is that? It's a crazy number. I'm not going to answer that. Jesus Christ. This, this technology is out of hand. That's a, probably somebody wants to download a virus in my cell phone. God damn the pusher man. Anyway, where was I? I was talking about Randy. Yeah, Randy gave a TED talk on homeopathy. Goes, There's nothing in it. There's nothing to it. And then he goes over to the chalkboard or the the uh, whiteboard and gives this Avogadro's constant formula for homeopathy that by the 23rd dilution, there's not one molecule in it. I, I'm done. I don't do a very good, amazing Randy imitation, but that's just to let you know that I'm not saying it. It. There's not only one did not one molecule in it after 23 decimal dilutions, and so it's impossible. It can't be anything but pure water. Well, that's not true. I've disproven that, along with about a million other people. I've disproven that more than a million. It's probably up in the billions now.
homeopathy is widespread across the planet, not because it's, it has any theory behind it, but because it works. But the, the academia and professional science, these science cutters, have, think they can make a reputation by denouncing homeopathy, by running down saying there isn't any science to it. Well, there is, and I could do a TED talk and prove it. I've proven it time and time again, as have many others, physically, biochemically, botanically, zoologically, and every now and then a human being gets in the way. So I want to do a TED talk and a rebuttal on the James the Amazing Randy show. I mean, it must have a million views on it. What, where's the rebuttal? You know, I don't, I'm not hearing any rebuttal. I'm not hearing any exchange of ideas much lately. I mean, what a bunch of bullshit. You know, look at the state of politics right now. It's just everybody with his opinion of what's going to be good for him. Well, not everybody, most of the Republicans, the administration, the U.S. administration is being run by a mafia cartel, being run by a crime syndicate. Bunch of, they behave like a bunch of New York gangsters. Jesus Christ. I mean, and the, the more people don't see through this. I mean, it's been transparent from the very beginning. That's what's interesting about homeopathy is he, there's these constitutional types. And Trump's is platina. Latina. Platina metallicum. The remedy cure for narcissists and bullies and assholes like Donald Trump. And give him a dose of about a 10 M. No, make it a 100 M dose of platina metallicum for this fucking narcissist Donald Trump. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but every now and then you got to pull out the big guns. Jesus Christ. So anyway, that's what I want to do, and I want some help. I want to. I want some help to go on TED Talks, and I won't swear or say anything about Donald Trump. Well, maybe I will. I mean, what hell? What the hell? This is a, This is supposed to be the land of land of the free, the home of the brave. Okay, I'm trying to be free, and I'm trying to be brave. I want some, I want your help on it. You go. Somebody get, do a you go fund me page. Raise half a million dollars. Get me on TED Talks. I mean, they put out. The, the, you got this right now. You have the Center for Inquiry at uh, some German skeptical outfit. I guess the the oldest one in, in Germany. The oldest bunch of skeptics in Germany. You know, they, they're the biggest assholes. Probably is what that means. You got these guys that are offering now 50,000 euros or something like that for proof for homeopathy. Somebody can come up with a test or, a, uh, or is able to identify one homeopathic remedy from another in water, right? Or whatever, little white pill. Say, well, this is this, is this and this and that. Well, guess what? It's already been done and published. It's a published experiment. These guys are ask, asking somebody to come along <laughs> and prove that homeopathy can be distinguished as of one remedy from another. They'll pay $50,000 for it. When it's already been done, Russum Roy, then you look under RAO, R-A-O, epitaxy, put that in the uh, Google search engine, you'll come up with a test that meets the, the demands of, of the Center for Inquiry. I mean, and this is not the only example of this kind of stupidity and phony bullshit that's put out by people who call themselves skeptics. You know, James the Amazing Randy did the same fucking thing. Offered a million dollars for proof for homeopathy. So I wrote to him, I mean, you've probably heard this before, but it doesn't, but it bears repeating. Offered a million dollars for proof for homeopathy. I said, if I responded to the offer by saying, if I can come up with a method, if I can provide you with the method to distinguish a homeopathic remedy over here against a phony homeopathic remedy over here, pure water, will that win the million dollars? I mean, double blind trial, triple, make it a fucking triple blind file trial. If I can do that, will that win the million dollars? And Randy said, yes, just do it and take the money. This is all documented in email. Well, this went back and forth and finally ran away, withdrew the offer, cursed me. I tried calling him on the phone 
And I finally got him on the phone. I said, this is John Bevel. He said, you fucking liar. Call me a fucking liar. He slammed the phone down on me. So I called back. I said, I think we got disconnected. Slammed the phone down on me again. That's what it is. You know, in a free, open, free society, we're supposed to have an exchange of ideas. Excuse me, but we're supposed to have an exchange of ideas. We're not supposed to be cussing at each other. Calling each other names. Come on, come on, let's get it together. Socrates proved the dialectical method and they ran him out of town, right? Well, that's probably what's happening here. And we really get down to bullets. Get down to brass tacks. And do the little fine cutting that science does. You know what science means? Do you know what science means? Science means to cut. S-C-I. If they can't cut it, they can't, they can't know it. To know it, they have to cut it. They have to cut it open. So Demo- Democrates, this little Greek guy back, what, 1,500 years ago, said, well, there must be a finite particle. And he was talking to per- Parmenides. Parmenides, there's a finite particle that can't, that can't be cut, that's uncuttable. It's the smallest particle. There's nothing in it but, but stuff. Democrates... Democrates, jump back, said Parmenides. You're wrong. It's all connected. It's all connected. So get me on stage. Help me get on stage and prove homeopathy. There's been numerous tests for it. Probably the most interesting one lately has been the transmission electron microscopy test done by Shikramane, an Indian researcher team that... um, was able to identify the solute using electron micro, transmission electron microscopy in a, uh, in a solution. And they actually took a picture of what they thought was the particle. This is really interesting because they came up with, they had to come up with some theory for it. And the theory that they came up with is that particles float to the top of the solution as froth and then in the next dilution you take it off the top and put it into another bottle and that's how <laughs> that's how it transmits itself I was talking to Dana Ullman about this and I said Dana that doesn't that doesn't make any sense I mean because eventually you're going to run out of molecules so you know they didn't have it I seem to be the only guy on the planet I'm sure this can't be true. There's, what, 5 billion of us? 6 billion? 8 billion? How many people on the planet? There's got to be some, someone among those billions, other than myself, who can explain this to, to everybody. This is molecular dissociation. Look it up. It's done by hydrolytic action. The hydro, hydrolytic action of the, the protic hydrolytic action of the water molecule. These, these solutions become tritiated. The, the hydrogen is turned to tritium. It begins to emit a radio signal, radioact- essentially a radioactive signal of tritium. If you're a scientist, if you think you're a cutting sci- scientist, then figure it out. You can figure this out on your own. The water rises in the atmosphere. It's bombarded by cosmic rays. It becomes tritiated. And it falls back to Earth as rain because it's heavy water. It's super heavy water. Tritium. Tritium. That's the key to homeopathy, or at least one of them. Did you know that the radioactive content of a homeopathic gravity has been detected and measured? Kant did it. The Kant team did it. Roland Kant, the great physicist of homeopathy, measured the radioactive signal coming off a homeopathic remedy. I mean, that's a showstopper right there. That alone is proof for it, amongst, amongst many other biochemical and physical and otherwise. But I want on stage. I want to get in front of the American public through, through TED Talks. I want to raise a half a million dollars of it that, if that's what it takes to do it. So somebody give me a call on the phone. Help, help me. Help me. Help me get where I need to go. 
Well, this is about 14 and a half minutes. I'm all talked out. I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll talk to you later.